All right, what is going on guys? So today we are here at the land of the surf and we have come to Oceano to use a bait in which uh, I got in the mail last night and that bait is the Super Glow Kalisa. Now, I originally was going to do this video at Oso Flaco, but uh, there was uh, someone in the Hook to Cook family, I believe his name was Jesse, said that Oso Flaco was closed for some training. So I didn't want to risk it and, you know, drive over there. Well, it wouldn't, you know, been that big of a deal, you know, but I'd rather just go straight to Oceano than drive to Oso Flaco and then have to turn back and then come to Oceano. So we are here at Oceano. Gonna be throwing the Super Glow Kalisa. And only the Super Glow Kalisa. Hopefully we can hook up on some good sized perch today. Last night, I went onto the Hook to Cook family and I created a poll because I was you know, originally gonna go to uh, Oso Flaco and I asked them to choose which direction for me, whether I go left or right. Um, but you know, obviously it doesn't matter now. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll do that again. And if you'd like to be part of that uh, decision making, make sure to come join the Hook to Cook family. And I'm kind of thinking of uh, we can do like where I create a poll and you guys choose my fishing destiny. Uh, whether it be, you know, kayak fishing, salt, fresh, water, or, you know, fishing the land of the rocks or the land of the surf or any other type of fishing. That'd be fun to, you know, have you guys choose my fishing destiny. So I am pretty much ready to go. So let's get on the water. All right, so high tide is at 9.30. We have one hour until then. And we're gonna go to the left, just walk, walk while casting. And then probably about at the two hour mark, we'll come back the way we came. First cast. Have some nice uh, overcast conditions. The water is not too stained. Yep, I cast the same distance as I would with the Lucky Craft. Swims, swims the same. I was messing with the the glow last night. I put it under uh, the light of my phone charge it up for about a minute and it's super super bright it looks looks really really good Fish on, fish on, fish on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First one on the Kalisa. That is a 12 and a half inch Bart Surf Perch. Good fish. First one of the day. And these are the, the stock hooks on it too. 
I didn't change the hooks out. When there's one Bart Surf perch, there's typically more. They are a schooling, schooling fish. So hopefully I can pick out another. Oh, yeah, there we go. Another one, another one. Just as I was saying, they're a schooling fish. to get him again right. second fish of the day well i could have had three but missed that one let's go let's measure this guy too he actually looks pretty darn close to 13. this one is oh, wrong side this one is he's 13. a little over 13. Awesome. That's two. So those of you have who have ordered them or are thinking about ordering them, uh, definitely give it a try. You know, so far, uh, caught two, lost one. So they work, which is a good sign. And you know these these Kalisas are like five dollars cheaper than the Lucky Crab. So if you want to save that extra five bucks and uh, buy the Super Glow Kalisa, they work. Just give it a nice slow retrieve, just enough to where you can feel the action, and that's all you need. You don't, you know, you could always. Speed up the tempo, slow the tempo, give it a couple jerks, let it sit for a second, kind of just uh, experiment with it. But I just like giving it a slow retrieve, just enough for me to feel that that action. The nice part about it is the, uh, you know, being here at Oceano, I only I parked probably like a couple hundred yards away. I just made it past pool pool one. Already three good sized fish, but you know, one of them uh, popped off right away, but didn't have to drive down the beach, which is nice. And for me to, uh, you know, start from where I parked straight out and then just slowly, uh, thoroughly, scanning the the surf when ordering this uh kalisa i also ordered a, a uh i believe it was a like a fall jig it was a 8.8 .8 ounce uh fall jig that i'm most likely going to use in the hook to cook charter boat in december uh on the starfire and here's the fall jig I was talking about. It looks really nice. And I believe that that'll, oh, oh, and I believe that'll catch fish too. Possible big lean cod. But we'll find out. Oh, another one, another one. Another one. Same spot. <laughs> this one looks uh, about like a 12. 12 and a half inch 
took the whole back treble. The stock hooks still look good. Not really bent. Yeah, they don't look really bent. Not yet. It's funny, me and uh, me and the boys had a little uh, a jit, not a little jiff, a little picture of uh, it's that that picture where you know it has a guy sitting down and it's it's like the this or this changed my mind but we put we threw mario's face on it and it said tying straight braid or leader line changed my mind and you know i used to throw straight braid but now i think i'm uh i'm team leader now jumping all over the place don't come off don't come off skr, skr. Skr, skr. <laughs> another 12 12 and a half oh man the Kalisa super glow is killing it today halfway I'm hoping they'll limit out for me. That'd be great. It'd be my first time limiting out, so that would be super awesome. Especially if we can do it early. This on, this on, this on. That's like another 13. It looks like the look uh, the Kalisa went through war. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it popped off. No, no. Darn it! This on. This on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Just give up. Just give up. Let me cast my limit. Oh yeah. Alright, this one's going back. This is probably like nine inches or so. Small guy.
think I only need like two more to limit out. There's one. There's one. So I emptied every all of them out so I can count them. We got one, two, three, one that bled out, or was bleeding, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more to limit out. If I would have landed those two earlier, I would have been on my way home right now. Came off. Piss on, piss on, piss on, piss on. Whoa, that one hit hard. That one, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he almost got away. Almost got away. No, no. Oh, that would have been number nine. Oh shoot, a freaking bird went to snatch my lure. All right guys, that is gonna wrap it up for us today. We did good. All right guys, so the Kalisa Glow Sardine put in some work today. Got caught eight, or landed eight fish missed about six or seven um a couple of them i had didn't have the camera i didn't know that the camera was recording but i didn't land them anyways but i brought them to about five feet away from me and then they fell off but uh we have eight fish eight good sized barred surf perch a mix between 12 13 uh, I got I got like 110 in there but it's uh it was bleeding pretty bad and I didn't want to let it go because you know the odds of it dying were pretty high so we got eight fish uh, you know if I were to land you know a couple of those that popped off I would have li limited out for the first time so we are still on the hunt for the limit but overall the Kalisa I would I, I would get an, another one, or actually a few of them. Um, you know, it produced really well. Uh, the Kalisa and the Lucky Craft are really, really similar. The same weight, same size, same pattern. Um, but what I noticed was the Kalisa glows a little brighter than the Lucky Craft. Um, but another difference was that I noticed from a video in the Hook to Cook family, they were saying that the Kalisa, the back is more black and the Lucky Craft is more of like a more green. Um, there are a couple differences in the Kalisa and the Lucky Craft. Me and Edward did a little test between the Kalisa and the Lucky Craft and uh, the link to the video will be down below. Edward has, or Hook to Cook has uh, some underwater footage of the Kalisa and the Lucky Craft swimming side by side, so go check that out. Yeah, for those of you who you know are asking, do the Kalisa, does the Kalisa work? Yes, it does. We will probably do a, a test between which craft produces more between the Lucky Craft and the Kalisa. 
I might see if uh, Edward or Mario or anybody else wants to do a little competition between the Lucky Craft and the Kalisa, see which one catches more fish. So overall, good day and until next time, keep fishing on. Peace.